Talk a little TV. TV. And really, we should just change the name of this this segment to streaming services. I never talk about TV. Like, rarely, rarely ever do I ever talk we about TV. We did once or twice. <laughs> I mean, but you're right. Very rarely. Very like, so incredibly rarely. Like, I mean, it's ridiculous. Like, I I want to say, not like again. If I say like one more time, I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot myself. Right now, I'm actually just trying to look up something. Um, that I should have already had looked up, and so I'm stalling for time. Not very successfully stalling for time, but I am stalling for time. Well, so you are pointing out the, what you're doing. So yeah, That's, yeah, it's a little bit of a problem. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. You're doing yeah. the whole Inception, Mr. Smith uh, trick. Like if I tell people what I'm doing, then, then they maybe they don't realize. Ooh, vid me. This is an exclusive for you guys. <laughs> I hope they enjoy it. But uh, yeah, so Crazy Head is Netflix's, one of Netflix's newest original TV shows, popped up on my uh, streaming service eh, just about a week or two ago. And I was like, hey, sounds interesting. Very interesting premise. It's about two women who can see demons in everyday life, and uh, they hunt them. So, sort it's of hunt like them. Grimm, except for with demons. Or yeah. Supernatural. Yeah, Supernatural has demons, so there you go. Yeah, Supernatural has so. demons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, it's not quite the same. It's kind of... Yeah, yeah. it's, it's a similar vein of like this Supernatural yeah. Hunters uh, TV, which a lot of people love, including myself. But, so there you go. But this one is not more in those vein as in the genre. Yeah, the genre is in there. But it's a comedy. Like, it's not all funny. There are some serious moments. It's kind of a dark comedy, but it's a, it's a comedy. It's really... It's a British comedy, which kind of explains it if you do like British TV shows yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. They have kind of a darker side of humor to a lot of their things so that's where it is now just to start off with uh just the, the main characters um i love them both both the two women do amazing jobs especially this is what i was looking up Susie wokoma that uh she is spectacular I, I just love her her she's like crazy but not crazy and you just believe everything that she's doing and it just it feels like yeah yeah like if, if there was a real person in that situation this insane crazy situation where you have to fight off demons I believe it would be her, you know, <laughs> like that's, that's what she does. And the other main character, uh, Kara Theob uh, Theobald, yep, Theobald, um, she's gorgeous. Um, so if you're ever in America, I would love to take you out for dinner sometime, anytime. And I know Will it might come back maybe? to the maybe. Yeah, I know. <laughs> she might say maybe, who knows? I might get the maybe again. And if you don't know what we're talking about, just rewind or watch us on VidMe. You'll see what we're talking about. But I, I, I think they both, and it's such a great dynamic duo. It's like the odd couple because they don't quite, you know, they don't quite fit together. But then that's why they fit together. You know, it, it, so I really like the dynamic between those two leading ladies. There's a couple other actors. There's like a guy that, yeah, he's kind of likes her and she kind of likes him, but it's not, you know, it won't happen. And, and, you know, there's a couple other good actors and I do enjoy who the main villain is. Let me give you that guy's name. His name is Tony Curran. I don't like that last name. I like a good last name, but um, uh, yeah, so he's in there and he's spectacular as the main villain. And I'm really excited to see where these characters are going, but character wise, acting wise, it is top notch. I've enjoyed it. It's spectacular so far. It just, it just flows. Uh, and then we get into plot. So plot, it, it, like I said, it's just a basic synopsis. It's one day this girl, literally the first time you meet the, one of the main characters, she's coming out of a mental institution and they're like, we're going to take you off these drugs. And she's like, but I might start seeing them again. And you're like, what are you talking about? And they're like, no, nah, you've been doing better. Boom. She goes out. She's at a club that night and she sees the other main character running away from a guy who has a de who's a demon. And she kind of, they kind of realize, oh, you both, we both can see it. And it goes on from there. And it really, it's just, it's, it's been very spectacular. I can see that they're they're pointing at something overarching. I'm only about four or five episodes in, so that they're pointing on a big story arc, and I'm kind of I'm there, and I like it. I just I'm you know it's kind of like the roller coaster. I'm like right here, and we're about to go down and see if you really like it. And and I feel like once I get down that hill, I'm gonna really find it spectacular. And it's gonna take it in a cool direction. Um, it's already had a couple twists uh, that were pretty interesting that I didn't quite expect, and I haven't seen in a lot of uh, shows like this because there are a lot of these demon hunter shows out there uh like brendan was saying what grim supernatural i mean we could probably go on and on ash versus the evil dead i mean there's a billion out there yeah yeah but, lost girls i think was like that too oh lost girl okay yeah so i mean there's a lot out there um and then overall for the whole show as just if you put it all together and it's a picture it's it's one of my favorite shows on netflix for the year so far how, how about that i mean it's i know it's only a little past uh, halfway past in january but I've thoroughly enjoyed this. I, I want to watch more. And it's actually one of the shows that I don't necessarily want to binge watch. I don't want to just sit down and watch five. 
because I want it to last, you know, I want the experience to go out over a period of time and I want to be like, okay, yes, crazy head was just boom. I can absorb everything is it's spectacular. I'm hoping for a season two. If I had to give an overall review of this show, I'd give it a 4.25 out of which, five. I've really enjoyed the show. I think it's a really cool mixture of the demon hunting genre, which I enjoy uh, good comedy aspect and they don't do it the same way. We just made listed like a hundred things and most of them aren't female lead characters and this is really strong cool female lead unique lead characters i think than what we normally get uh, i guess lost girls you said was one of the uh, well i made a um, point over there brian too there uh you said you were hoping for a season two i believe i saw earlier there is a season two now so Sweet. awesome so there's exactly go. what i wanted so so yeah, go out and check it out. Again, I give it a 4.25, but hit us up. Let us know what you think. Have you seen Lost, Girl, uh, Lost Girls? Crazy Head, do you like it as much as I do, or do you think I'm a little bit crazy in the head? Eh? Uh, eh? Yeah. Eh? All right, hit us up. Let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at Words to My Face on Twitter. Google Bless Facebook. Always good ways of getting a hold of us. Let's keep 